Hey everybody, I haven't done a live video in a while, but I had actually enough cool stuff to show you that I didn't feel like editing, so here we're going to do a live video. So, um, you, if you're on my email list, you may have gotten the email, hold on, am I missing one, that uh, yesterday, that one of my number one question I always get from everybody is, where do you get your supplies? Where do you get your supplies? So, I uh, figured I'd let y'all know one of the places I get my supplies is from a friend. She's actually one of the dyers on staff with Crafty Housewife Yarns. She's also on a farmer on my local wool, which I conveniently wear in this t-shirt because this color just goes with fall. So, <laughs> like shamelessly promoting all the time now. Um, but she's one of our farmers on my local wool. She's one of our dyers on staff. And she's also a lovely farmer and mom and has the sweetest little farm called Big Dream Farm. So it's Kelly and Ryan Clark. And uh, she sent me because she's going to be, if speaking of my local wool, so it's kind of a cross post here. We're using um, some of her wool in our upcoming um, small farm sampler boxes. So if you either currently get or want to get one of our small farm sampler boxes where you get it's every th um, every other month a box full of small farm fiber from our farmers she's one of them this month and so she sent me this delightful grab bag of um, like sample of all of her wool so I thought I would show them to you so this one I absolutely love and oh I also kind of digress from my original thing. I sent out an email yesterday saying that these particular blends, so as of today when I'm filming this, these are for sale. All the ones I'm showing you, they're on our site. Um, like I said, uh, Kelly is part of the Crafty Housewife Yarn staff. So she's listed on her site. <laughs> so if you love any of these, they may or may not be still available on our site, depending on when you're seeing this video, because we just sold a bunch yesterday. But I wanted to go ahead and make this video. So all my disclaimers are done now. This one is probably my favorite. It is a blend of alpaca, the, can't ever say it right, Hakukia, <laughs> I don't know, I don't even try to say it, the one that starts with an H, alpaca blend, with baby doll wool. And so this is, we also, I'm sorry, I'm going to be back and forth a lot. This is just straight baby doll wool in brown. And you can see it's this delightful little fuzzy fibers. And they are shorter and they're really soft. But see how springy those are? I mean, they're crazy. I love the baby doll wool uh, from the baby doll sheep. So, man, a big truck go by outside. <laughs> Uh, the joys of live video. So this particular blend is a beautiful fawn colored alpaca blended with this baby doll and you can see that it is blended seamlessly together but it does have so it's really soft but it's got the little bit of a spring to it that alpaca doesn't normally have so I think that's just I love this one. I personally could have kept all of her stash of this and I may hoard it for myself next time she goes to the mill, but it's 64% alpaca, 30%, 36% baby doll, and it's fabulous. So that's what that is. I'd never uh, personally had one of those before. And then this one is baby doll wool and angora. So uh, the angora goats, so this is a blend of the angora and the baby doll. It's really cool, like kind of a salt and pepper gray. I make sure I keep all my cards with the right ones or I will be confused. And we also have of uh, the fancy ones. Oh, this one is like a tricolor. It's got like some whites, some like this light chocolate brown, and then this like dark chocolate brown. And so this one is gorgeous. And this one is all Surrey alpaca. That one I can say. <laughs> Sorry, I can say the other one I get tongue tied on. So, um, so this one is a beautiful roving, and it's the alpaca, Surrey alpaca tricolor, and it's got all the different blends. And alpaca is really cool, as you can see. Alpaca wool has got like this really awesome drape, whereas like wool roving is a little bit more stiff, or some of it is. Um, alpacas. It's a very fine fiber, and the different types of alpaca, some of them are a little bit longer fiber length than others. They're typically a little bit shorter fiber length. I like to spin alpaca pretty fine, so on your wheel, you'd want to put that on one of your lower gear settings so that you get more rotations 
per petal um, to really get the twist in there, but alpaca is super fun to spin. And I don't normally naturally spin too thin, but with alpaca, I just naturally make thin, beautiful yarn, which makes me feel good about myself. So like I said, this is 100% Surrey alpaca. And I just, I thought that was a really neat breed and uh, blend. And then these other guys over here, let me get them all out, are, these are all baby doll sheep. So we've got two, some dark browns and then the grays and the whites. And like I said, the baby doll sheep are hilarious. I have a friend here in Knoxville that has some, so I've cleaned their little fun wool before. It is, um, like I said, they are so funny. They're short and, like, fat, and they're like dogs, and they're so cute. But they have the, sh like, funniest little fuzzy fiber, and it's so springy, and, uh, like I said, it's really soft. So, I mean, excuse my crazy-looking skin, too. <laughs> it's very soft. But it is a shorter fiber length, and I had heard that people, it's popular to blend with alpaca, which after playing with this, I totally get why. So that is that one. And like I said, these were just straight baby dolls. So those were the colors. Like I said, they come in different little colors. So I just wanted to show you those because I thought they were cute. And last but not least is, hold on, alpaca, mohair, and wool. So this one's in a big bag. Let's see, am I building the suspense with it being off the camera? <laughs> this one is coming out of a big giant bag over here because, like I said, this is what was part of going to be in our My Local Wool uh, fiber sampler box. And it is a really pretty, super soft fawn roving, like a fawn colored roving with some dark browns in it. And it is here. I've already forgotten the blend. It is, wait for it. 60% alpaca, 20% mohair, and 18% wool. And this was what I thought would be the most intriguing blend. And it is, it's really soft, but it's still got a really nice, here's the end, that's what I was looking for, really nice draft to it. It's very easy, nice draft. And I just personally, in all of my fiber adventures, never had one that was that particular blend of alpaca, mohair, and wool. I just thought that was super cool. So that will be going out in the upcoming, um, that as well as things from uh, at least one other farmer, one to two other farmers, will be going out in the My Local Wool sampler box. Um, I think we're waiting on something from one other farmer. So once that comes in, those are going to start mailing out. So if you would like to get some of this, Go sign up on mylocalwool.com for the, you click on like fiber and accessories and it's the fiber sampler box and you can cancel whenever. But that one, this will be going out and will be one of the uh, bigger features. So you'll be getting a decent amount of it and it's really pretty, like just different colors. And like I said, it is alpaca, mohair, and wool. So it's super cool. I'd never had any before. So I will resist the urge to keep all of it. But I just wanted to get on here real quick, and like I said, I just thought those were some really unusual blends that I had not personally had. And y'all know it's one of our uh, missions here to get everybody, and I'm not hating on merinos. I like merinos, but, um, you know, get everybody to uh, try some new things. So I figured that would make a fun live video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, if you want, that last one I showed you is not for sale on our site. That one's just with my local wool. And the other ones are currently, as of now, there's at least a little bit left of all of them on the Crafty Housewife Yarns website. So if you wanted any of those, I'll try to include a link. Good luck. Have a good one. Bye.